Hi guys, welcome back to the Boeing Bookshelf. Um, today I'll be doing Karen Miller's uh, The Awakened Mage. Sorry it took so long for me to finish reading and then to do the review. But I forgot how much I loved this book. Um, actually, several of the things that I was talking about I wished that she had included in the first book is stuff she does include in the second book. Um, like during the second book, she does end up giving us pretty much flashbacks and then some actual written history that some of the characters are reading of how everything went down with the Dorn and, um, how they first interact with Vulcan when they show up how it comes to be that the Dornan end up essentially taking power. Um, and if you haven't read the first book, you might want to stop the video and wait until after you've at least read that one before watching this, as I will do some spoilers for the first book. I can say now that yes, there is such thing as Ilken uh, magic. Something that does come out in the first book. Um, Asher is actually the prophesized savior of all of Lur, both Dornan and Oaken who live there. Dornan don't really know the prophecy, and if they did, most of them would think it's hogwash, because a large majority of them look at Oaken as being barely more than beasts. Um, And the entirety of Awakened Mage, you're waiting for shit to hit the fan. Um, the main big baddie that the Dornan had fled when they fled to Lur is still alive centuries later because he extremely powerful mage and He's managed to make his way into Lur and is trying to now destroy it. Uh, it's not until the end of the book that you really get any of that action. It's all build up to it. So it, again, it's a bit of a slow burn. So you, you know that action's coming, but it takes so long for it to show up that Lots of anxiety waiting for everything to go down. Um, actually, at the end of The Innocent Mage, that big baddie also, to help further his plot, actually gives Gar magic and... essentially put Scar into the uh, throne. Also that he can um, have everything fail to where the wall protecting Lyra will go down. I do absolutely love Gar and Asher's relationship. It does have some uh, ups and downs, especially during the Awakened Mage. Um, there's some foreshadowing from the Innocent Mage that makes for a very major plot point in the Waken Mage and also has a extreme effect on Gar and Asher's relationship. Um, I can't actually give, say what that foreshadowing is because without a doubt it's going to give a major spoiler for this. There is also some, a major surprise about Asher that even the Prophecy didn't, that those who know, know about the Prophecy don't even realize. Um, so there, there's some fun little twists. If you're paying attention, you can see him coming. It's not, it's not so subtly foreshadowed that you can't see it, but uh, I, I love this book. Um, Eventually I'll read and review the others 
in the world. So there's the fisherman's children, um, essentially following Asher's bloodline. Um, I do have to say Karen Miller definitely was not shy about killing characters. There were some that I was very surprised on who did not make it through the end of the book. Um, so don't, don't be too surprised when you read it if a character or two that you're attached to don't make it through. Um, she, she definitely didn't have the, uh, I'd, I'd say misplaced notion of has to be a perfectly happy ending. It's, I always find it so unsatisfying if it doesn't come off like there was any sacrifice to achieve victory. It, I, mean, I know every, every time you see a movie, read a book, you always go, but wouldn't it be great if this person survived, but it would take away from the story if they did, and it would for this too. Um, of course, there's still the happy ending, just there has to, there, there was definitely sacrifices made. With Asher, he was, of course, only planning on staying in Dorana for one year. Um, in the first book, he does actually go back to his hometown with Gar during a ceremony and essentially finds out that he has now been technically banned from returning thanks to his brother. Because when he actually snuck off, he had told a friend to let everybody know where he went about a week after he left so that they didn't have time to try and chase him down and drag him back. His friend unfortunately had an accident and was not able to tell anybody. Still alive, but he no longer had the capacity. And his dad ended up dying looking for him. So he has... While his brother doesn't literally have the authority to keep Asher from returning home, he has enough clout to keep Asher from really being able to do anything if he returns home. Nobody would do business with him because it would be pissing off his brother. So he, he has to through the end of Innocent Mage and a large majority of Wicked Mage, he has to deal with coming to terms with he's staying in Dorana, at least until he literally is rich enough to where it doesn't matter if anybody's willing to do business with him, where he could literally buy his brother out of their business if he wanted to. Um, he ends up getting lots of new responsibilities because of all of this, and Gar getting magic. And also, in Awakened Mage, he does end up having a love interest, so we get a nice um, little romantic relationship blossoming in this book. So if, you, if you enjoy a little bit of uh, romantic relationships in your books, Awakened Mage definitely can help fulfill that while staying in fantasy. So yeah, Karen Miller started out with some great world building in Wicked Mage. She helped, she actually improved on it, added in the stuff that me having forgotten much of this book after the first time I read it, was wanting more and reread it and oh yes, she did add it. So awesome books. If you haven't picked up either of them, I hope you really have at least Red isn't mage if you made it this far, because now you have spoilers. But I definitely suggest these. They're awesome books. Um, Fisherman's Children continues on in the world. They're awesome as well. Um, Till next time, like, comment, subscribe.